My name is Karen Thompson and I'm so excited to announce the CrossFit for Health Summit that is coming to Austin, Texas, February 2024. Tickets are available now for this unparalleled gathering of minds at the forefront of fitness and health. The day will be packed with insights from leading experts, educational discussions and networking opportunities, all within the vibrant atmosphere of the CrossFit community. You can also join virtually or in person, and you can find all the information you need on our website, CrossFitForHealthSummit.com. Today, I am joined by one of my very favorite experts in the field of health and wellness and fitness and everything, and that is Dr. Christopher Palmer. Welcome, Chris. It's so good to have you here. Thank you, Karin, for having me. I'm honored to be with you. Yay! Okay, perfect. So, Chris, can you share a little bit about the topic you'll be covering at the Health Summit? So I am going to be talking about the connections between metabolism, metabolic health, and mental health. And right now, a lot of people don't really know that those things are very well connected. But in fact, decades of research in the neuroscience and mental health fields, looking at simple disorders like anxiety or depression or ADHD, all the way to serious crippling mental disorders like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. All of that research, in fact, is converging on brain metabolism. And uh, and what that means is that it is opening up new ways for us to help people heal and recover from mental illness, mild mental illnesses, all the way to severe and catastrophic ones. And the great news is that we don't necessarily need new pills. We don't need to wait on any new breakthrough treatments. The treatments can include basic common sense lifestyle strategies to improve people's metabolic and mental health. I absolutely love that. So what do you see as the connection between metabolic dysregulation, like insulin resistance and inflammation and these mental health struggles that you mentioned? So a lot of people know that insulin is related to maybe diabetes or prediabetes. Um, but in fact, insulin plays a really powerful role in the brain as well. And insulin actually is probably produced and secreted by brain cells, and that plays a role in the way other brain cells function. And this is really powerful information because, again, what we eat, whether we exercise, how well we sleep, if we're using drugs or alcohol, all of these things play a role in insulin signaling within the brain. Inflammation, same story. When people are have obesity or when people have diabetes, they tend to have higher levels of inflammation. But we have known for decades that people with mental illnesses across the board, from mild ones to severe ones, they also have higher levels of inflammation. And so we need to put it all together. And putting it all together means that physical health and mental health are integrated that you can't have a sound mind without a sound body, but vice versa. You're not gonna have a sound body without a sound mind. We need to integrate mental health and physical health. That is so powerful. So, uh, so Chris, you have been a huge uh, support of CrossFit and the CrossFit affiliates and the CrossFit community. You have spoken at various of our events and interviews, and we are so grateful for that. Um, so you really have firsthand experience of what this community does and what the affiliates can do to really empower people to be healthy uh, through fitness. So my question to you is, how can CrossFit affiliates help people improve metabolic and mental health? So the real CrossFit affiliates already know they're doing it. <laughs> and, and they see it countless times. They see it in the people they're working with. And they may not know the science of what they're doing or how it's working or why it's working, but they're doing it. And the reality is I, as a scientist, can help other people, can help the mental health community, can help 
everyday people and I can help the CrossFit community understand that you are in fact changing brain function. You are having tremendous effects on people's ability to feel good, to function well in life, to thrive, to live their best lives. And it is not, as a psychiatrist, it is not about your body. So I get that some people are focused on, they want bigger muscles, they want to move faster, they want better performance. And I get all of the benefits of that. There's no doubt those things are tremendously beneficial. But I'm focused on the brain and I'm focused on letting people live their best lives or helping them do that. And in fact, having better muscles, having better nutrition, getting better sleep, having higher exercise capacity actually affects your brain. And we know this down to the cellular level. And so what can the CrossFit affiliates do? What can the CrossFit community do? You can keep doing everything you're doing, but do it for more people. You can provide community for them. You can get them stronger and faster. You can help them improve their metabolism. You can help them get off of drugs and alcohol if that's a problem for the people. But you can give them meaning and purpose. You can help them feel like valuable people. You can give them a place where they not only receive information and support, but they can give information and support to other people. They can feel better, they can feel more empowered, they can thrive in their lives. I love this. And that is the power of the CrossFit community and the CrossFit affiliate, that bringing fitness, nutrition, and that sense of community and belonging together in one space. Um, where people find that passion and that purpose. So we are so excited to have you at the CrossFit for Health Summit. Um, yep. Thank you very much for, for being one of our incredibly esteemed speakers. We're very grateful. Thank you, Karen, for uh, inviting me. I really look forward to it. I can't wait to see everybody in Austin. <laughs>